laatste. Master, you called for me? Did you not? You called for me and I came as quickly as I could. I apologize sincerely if it took some time. <sighs> Even though it was late, I was performing a duty that's not often performed and quite a long ways away from your room. I'm aware that I'm supposed to stay close to you, but I was unaware you were still awake. I deeply apologize, Master. That said, why are you still awake, Master? Ah, oh, I see. Rocky and sleepy, yet you can't quite catch the sleep. I understand completely, Master. Why don't you sit up for a moment and sit down on my lap? So you can tell me in detail what's happening? Oh, Master. As, as much as I'd love to help from here, you and I both know that physical contact is much better to help soothe the stressed mind than most other things that aren't sleep. Now, come, come. Now, let's see. There's many reasons my master could be having trouble sleeping. Let us go over the easy ones first. Was it too hot? Too cold, perhaps? Or did a nightmare wake you up? On the infamous, I just couldn't sleep. I was expecting this day would come one day. Hmm. The day when your maid finally has to help with something so... odd of a request as this. But I suppose... My master, anything for you. No, no, don't stress your beautiful little face about it. I'm tall, I'm squishy, and I'm your servant. You called for me in the middle of the night because you couldn't sleep. So now there's only one option I have available to me. I'll simply have to sleep with you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Don't worry so much, master. It's very simple. Not too much teasing or anything. I promise I'll behave. All I will do is take care of you, lay down next to you, and do anything in my might to lull you to sleep. Even if it takes all night, I'll be right there, beside you. Now, before we do this, could 
Could I please be allowed a moment to undo my uniform and change to my sleeping robes? If that's allowed, master. Well, of course I have to ask permission, master. Not just because you're in charge and everything in this house has to be exactly the way you want it to be, but also because I love... <laughs> oh, how I love to see you blushing or cute like that when I ask you to exercise control. Even though I'm so much taller, more experienced, you'd almost say I was supposed to be in charge, wouldn't you? Very well. I'll head to my bedchambers and return as quick. As I can. Just wait for me right here on the side of the bed. And, Master, if you wish, perhaps walking a little bit can also help coax you to sleep. It's merely a suggestion, but perhaps it would help, no? Master, I have returned in my sleeping garments, and I am ready to soothe you to sleep. Are you ready as well? Wonderful. I hope you have prepared yourself mentally for this, because... I'll be making very sure that you'll fall asleep. And the first part of that is laying in bed together with you pressed tightly against me. How does that sound? A warm body wrapped around you to keep the cold at bay, both from your body and your heart. not like the next step, but I do believe it's actually one of the best things you can do to help me help you sleep. I want you to give up control. You're still my master, and I'm still your maid, but just for a moment, let me be the one to tell you what to do. Let me be in control, so you don't have to worry about a thing. They say that being the one that's being controlled is so much more peaceful than being the one in control. You don't have to think. You don't have to say anything. Or let your brain rush around at all. 
all you have to do is feel good and do as you're told. Doesn't that sound nice? Giving up control to your loving maid for a moment so she can dote on you and help you get to sleep. And then when you wake up again, everything will go back to normal. Wonderful, Master. Now, let's start by having you press yourself against me. Firmly wrapped in my arms. Pressed against my chest in a wonderfully tight embrace. Surrender yourself to the soft warmth of my body, the sheets on top of you, everything surrounding you right now is of the highest quality, chosen just for you, just for your comfort. Just for your pleasure. Even I was hired to suit your needs as perfectly as possible. My appearance soothing to your eyes. My body practically made to assist you in every way possible. So just let yourself be soothed by my warmth, by my scent. You know, nobles have a much harder life than most people give them credit for. People think that people like you just live a life of luxury without ever having to worry about a thing. But really, it's just not quite that simple, is it? Every interaction, even with family, is a complex puzzle with hundreds of little rules. I've heard some of the rules of etiquette you have to uphold. So many niche rules that you have to remember at any time. For any moment of the day. And then there's the fact that Really, you're contributing quite a lot to this little town around your manor. Just the jobs here are already a massive help. Giving money from your pocket to us. Allowing the townsfolk to sustain their economy. You're constantly busy keeping the finances. Visiting and hosting feasts, which are quite stressful occasions. And there's constantly news from some part of the country to be concerned about that other people could simply ignore. Maybe it doesn't sound like a lot when you say it out loud, but I know how 
how much it can stress you out from time to time. You put so much effort in every single day. And that's why you have plenty of people to help you take care of the minute stuff. Oui, I do think you do a good job. Of course, yes. You're always busy helping everyone as much as you can. Taking care of as many people as you can. Doing whatever you can to make sure you're doing all that. And I think that's part of the reason you can't sleep right now. All the stress from all that worry is making it so you're having a hard time sleeping. is why I thought that you giving up control a little bit would help. Allowing yourself to be vulnerable by giving up control is something that helps with stress for a lot of people a lot of the time. So, by letting me take control, letting me tell you what to do, and being so sweet and cute for me, you're allowing yourself to relax, to calm your mind just a little bit. No choices to make, because someone's making them for you. No thoughts, no stress, just me and you. Just relaxation, calmness, warmth, and eventually sleep. lay back and do as I say. All I want you to do is just tense up in your feet, stretch your toes as far as you can for just a few seconds and then relax. Relax. Let your body feel that it can finally relax your feet. That there's no reason to go anywhere for a while. So your feet can turn off. Now, up to your legs. Stretch out. Tense up. As far and wide as you can. And then, after just a little bit, let your muscles relax. Let them fall limp. No, right? It's weird though if you tense up as much as you can, even for just a few seconds. Letting yourself relax feels so much better than when you just lay down. Hmm. What 
deserter here? Did you just call your loyal maid, mommy? <laughs> mommy. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. No, don't be embarrassed. It's just your mind relaxing along with your body. Slipping out because you're relaxing And I can't say I wasn't expecting it at least a little bit I mean, look at me I know there's plenty of boys who look at me in that way And I suppose that you too a young man, master. So it's only logical that in your mind you draw the same conclusions any other young man would. At least there's always the chance. But don't be afraid. If you let me call you, baby boy. I'm dead serious, master. Dead serious. I won't tell anyone that you called your loving maid mommy. Or you are snuggled up to her in an attempt to sleep. If you just let me call you my baby boy. Sounds fair, doesn't it? <sighs> there, there. Good boy. Let's continue where we left off, shall we? to do your stomach next, your abs and your back, tense as hard as you can, just for a moment, and after a few seconds, relax them again. It's basically like turning something on and off again, just to make sure it's properly off. And remember, if you ever feel any serious pain from doing any of this, please tell me, master. Because this isn't supposed to hurt at all. But what it can do is bring minor injuries to the surface, which you might not normally notice. Which hurt more because you're suddenly tensing muscles and relaxing them again. So if anything hurts suddenly after we've done this, just tell me and we'll talk to someone who can help, okay? Good. Now, let's do your hands. Each finger stretched wide and far. And then relaxed again. Limply hanging from your palm. Your arms stretched all the way from your shoulders to your wrists, as far out as 
you can take them. There you go. See? Doesn't that feel so good? A little bit tingly. A little bit numb. Almost as if your body has finally accepted that it's supposed to be asleep right now. But then there's one thing left that needs to go to sleep. Yes, my good boy. I'm going to help you with that too. And you don't need to move an inch. All you have to do is let me tell you a few things that you need to hear. even have to think. All you have to do is just lay in my arms and relax. I want you to know that you deserve everything. You might be worried about not doing enough to deserve the things you've gotten. You might be embarrassed about needing things that other people don't need. You might be stressed about barely being able to keep up when others seem to keep up with ease. But the truth is that everyone has their own pace, their own needs, and their own value. Everything you receive is earned. And you can make yourself feel guilty very easily by overthinking about it. Sure, maybe other people don't need to put in more effort to earn as much as you do. But they have other skills that you don't have. Everyone has their own strong and weak sides. You've found your strong sides. Or at least a few of them. And you spend every day trying to use those strong sides to make the world a better place. So don't judge yourself for having those weak sides. That's what you have other people for. To supplement your strengths and weaknesses. To ask for help when you need it. To be better together. Just like you're such a good boy asking your mommy maid for help when you can't sleep. We're speaking of. I think you're calm and slow breathing. I'll be quiet so you can actually fall into a nice deep slumber. Sleep tight, my master. And my good boy.